Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Well, I got to put this information in a book, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this message goes out and touches all the players that it needs to, to touch. Because y'all remember, I don't hardly tag stuff. I'm just learning how to do that. So all my videos are only, I only have listeners and viewers because y'all spread them, okay? Because, you know, that's not initially what I started this for. I just wanted to get information out of it. So... There's, I don't try to get into too much of this stuff because, like I said, I try to stay above everything. And a lot of times people consider, call, um, count that as me not wanting to get involved, not being concerned about what's going on. Um, and in the black community, we really can't be, cons it's kind of hard not to be concerned or not to be actively involved in the things that are going on in our community, especially when we made the targets of so much negativity. Okay, so. But what's going on in this YouTube streets right now? Um, as a so-called elder in this community, I am an elder now. I think it's time for me to come out and speak to this. And just say, make my peace and be done with it. Because I was there. I was very severely affected uh, by the trauma that happened when Malcolm X got killed. My family and I were members of the Nation of Islam. At that time. So when Malcolm defected. Uh, my father defected right along with Malcolm. Okay. In fact my father was the. Um, Muslim Mosque Incorporated. Representative right here in Milwaukee. Wisconsin. So this conversation is to just chime in. On the NOI. Who I have ultimate respect for. I'm not here to defend the nation of Islam. Like I said I used to be a member. Uh. I will always respect the organizations, but I just don't um, adhere to and join organizations anymore. But if there is an organization that I feel that has um, all the things that black people need for a nation, I would say it's the Nation of Islam. <laughs> okay, so that's just my opinion. Nobody has to follow me because everybody needs a discipline and needs a discipleship. Right now, we have a bunch of tumbleweeds running around in the desert thinking that they have all the knowledge thinking that they know so much because they get a few YouTube views and likes. This is crazy. YouTube has created a world where ignorant, stupid, unlearned people, I mean and if y'all want to consider me one of them, you can, but I'm not. Trust me on this. I'm a seasoned mature person that knows the danger in getting involved with stuff that you have no knowledge of you weren't even there. You were barely born. And then you're being very disrespectful. And in the way that you are representing yourself. Your knowledge. And you are disrespecting people that paved the way pretty much. And um, are respected in the black community. Now I've never heard any of these so-called uh, black armchair revolutionaries or uh, generals and what whoever I've never heard them out front standing up there when the Pope came to town or when somebody comes there to go there with all that mental ill behavior and cuss out the Pope I've never seen it I've never seen a person like the closest I saw was um, said he going to the common council and talking about him not being able to sell his CDs um, and trying to bring that open market to Detroit. But then again, he was very respectable. So I saw that there's a different way that you talk to these people who you perceive to have some authority than you want to speak about your own people. So when you do that, you already show me the path of your brain. No matter how fired up and geared up you are and there's a lot of y'all out there I got some in my family but let me tell you something I tend to think that stuff borderlines on mental illness because most of my brothers or most of my family members I know that act like that and are that um, uh, uh, gung-ho for the movement most of them don't take care of their children now I'm not saying this is the case with all y'all I'm just saying 
a lot of them you, you need to check out how they're doing in their immediate family because I think that's where your first responsibility is not with Farrakhan not trying to tell people what happened 40 years ago whether it was the truth or a lie because what I'm seeing here especially with this young Pharaoh is you're not a threat but what you're doing is you got a bunch of old news mixed with lies and your ego has gassed you up to the point where you really think that <laughs> you said you saw a a, 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 a a post from Farrakhan that says Pharaoh's army yeah now you know that they drown in the Red Sea now you think it's you okay because you said there are no coincidences so I'm sure when they wrote this song they were talking about you too okay maybe he was maybe he wasn't but for a person that would even say that why would you sit there and call the world leader such disrespectable names I bet you if you go to that Vatican, I bet you if the Pope comes back to New York City again like he did before, I bet you you wouldn't have the disrespect, the uh, ignorance that you spewed for the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, the Honorable Khalid Muhammad, and the Honorable Malcolm X. You wouldn't have had that garbage dispute for any of those white world leaders that you have for your own. Which tells me that you're still buried in so much self-hatred. Every one of us. And and I want to make sure I make this very clear too. Because I, I, I include myself because I'm part of this clan. But I want you to know one thing. I've taught my children to be respectful. My children are respectful to world leaders. That's why they can go and talk to anybody. You on the other hand with this craziness... What y'all have done is you've allowed YouTube likes and followers to get you gassed up. You are not a world leader. You got these young people who haven't been who who haven't really been taught anything because most of their parents, no disrespect, a lot of y'all parents have not even raised you. A lot of y'all been raised in foster care. A lot of y'all been raised in group home. It's not your fault, but you don't have no love. And I can see it in how you talk about people that you should have admiration and respect for. That means you got to agree with everything that these people say. You think I do? I used to be a member of the Nation of Islam. I'm not anymore. What does that tell you? My father ran the Muslim Mosque Incorporated. My father doesn't even talk to me no, anymore. That was 30 years ago. Because in Islam, there's some real strong, fine tenements that I don't agree with. One of them is if your child doesn't accept or want Islam and don't want to be a part of it, you shut them and shun them, shake the dust off your feet and tell them to get the hell on. See, I can't, I can't personally reject anything that I came out of my body that I'm responsible for giving life to. Um, that's the unconditional love. That we have. Nobody shits on us because we make mistakes. We get up the next day and allow the uh, opportunity <laughs> or the availability to make another mistake. We are not mocked. And if we run into any confrontation, it's going to be with the lawmakers of the land that punish us for our, our wrongdoings or our evil deeds. Okay? A lot of young people today haven't been taught to respect anybody because they don't respect anybody because nobody's giving them any love. And why should they? But like I'm telling you now, that's not my story. My kids respect me today and the young people I come into contact with is because I teach. I love. And with my love and my teaching comes discipline. And there's no way in hell any sane and rational parent would even bring their child up to have this much disrespect for a world leader unless they never had no parents or anybody in there in the first place to even teach them what solidarity means. I don't know y'all, but I bet you that's your home life. Because no respectable parent 
would even allow bring their kid up to call somebody like the Farrakhan or a Pope or well, no matter what you think. I'm not a Catholic. You think I'm going to call the Pope bitches and hoes? I mean, what purpose does that serve? Certainly not to get an audience with him. If it is, it's going to be to get my throat slit. So, what I want to say, because I personally like young Pharaoh. I think that he has a metaphysical message that these young people need to hear. They need to get away from these mollies, Percocets, and all this other crazy shit and elevate themselves. And if you all you want is knowledge, Pharaoh, but you don't become one with it, then it's useless. And everybody that listens to you is useless. If they're not being elevated, just hearing a bunch of stuff, people reading a bunch of carnal knowledge, but not being come, becoming one with that knowledge, it's all for naught. Off mute. I can't respect what's going on right now, and it needs to stop. And if any grown person is putting a battery pack in a young person and watching him be sent to the slaughter, it's just plain stupid. It's plain irresponsible. And to me, it reminds me of the man that's standing on the building and everybody is going, jump, 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 jump. And the man jumps and splatters himself. Now, they've gotten what they wanted. But your family and the, and the people, the person that fell off that building, his family is left to mourn and grieve the loss of their loved one. I don't want to see no more violence. I'm traumatized from what happened to me in 1965. And I'm, I'm telling y'all right now, elders, I mean, young people, I'm in my late 50s. I'm still traumatized by what happened. Atala, Yolanda King, who's passed, Bernice King, Quabilla, all of girls and boys that was raised in that area were directly affected by that assassination. And we're still alive. And for y'all to talk the shit that you don't know about what happened back then, to me is insulting, is disrespectful, is ignorant, and is borderline on self-destruction. And we got to stop self-destructing. We have to stop. And anytime somebody's gassing you up to do negative on your own people, you got to stop. And for your own people who don't know how to follow a protocol or a discipleship, they, you got, when you have a nation, you do just like America does. You punish people who break those protocols. Some things are worthy of death in some people's eyes. Don't let this stuff get out of hand where you it falls into that category. It's not about ego, not about being afraid, not about it is. It's about you having a child. And I don't want him growing up traumatized as I was by the adults in my life who allowed Malcolm to get shot down in front of his children on a Sunday afternoon and which caused my father to ne have never been the same since. And I'm out of here. I just wanted to say that. Respectfully, go out and make it a wonderful day. Be blessed.